All right, I have the tail light area set up and spot weld, tack welded. Gotta clean it up. Uh, got the parachute tether tube on there. It's gonna have to be trimmed down. <clears throat> Just working on filling in the gaps and getting the splices all finished up. Just a little bit more spot welding right here. You just have the fender flare taped on there just to make sure everything still lines up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of fiberglass on that, clean that up a little bit, and uh, should look good as new. Pretty much finished all the work getting the car back together. Got the quarter panel replaced from here. Back is new and then put back the old uh, fiberglass fender. Also added some 14 inch wide bead locks from Weld Racing. Same tire, but as you can see, I'm able to stretch it by four inches so. Makes the contact patch a little bit wider. New wing, the wing is about four or five inches longer, so that should add a little bit more downforce in the rear going down the track. Um, new suspension in the front. Got the uh, strap front suspension with uh, valving that's specific for drag racing and change the exhaust tubes to come straight out of the hood, more out of uh, laziness than the need, really. <clears throat> it's just easier to go straight up for now. Um, so, getting back to before the wreck, um, the issue I had was, I don't think I ever talked about it, was that I had uh, pressure in the coolant system so, you know, that's probably a head gasket, but I thought maybe it could be the intake gaskets pushing pressure in between the uh, water port and the uh, intake port. 
pretty unlikely, but I did see water weeping out of here whenever it was on the car because there was five, six, seven pounds of pressure in the coolant system. So I thought maybe could actually be this. I don't see anything wrong with these gaskets. Um, so I am going to pull the heads. I'm going to, let's see, pull the passenger first because right now multi-layer head gaskets are hard to get. I only have one right now, so I've got a 50-50 shot at which one is the culprit. So I'm going to pull the driver's side head off. And if I don't see anything, then I'm going to proceed to do the driver's side whenever I get another head gasket in. Which who knows when that'll be. I've got several on order. i got two sets on order, but so far I've only received one single head gasket. So go ahead and pull the passenger side and Maybe I'll get lucky and see something in there. suspension just making sure everything goes straight I uh, went to new wheels in the back and lowered the car a little bit so it'll change the instant center so we'll see how that goes as well uh, put five pounds of dome pressure on the launch and also what was it uh, 15 pounds in two seconds going down the track so it'll do like Maybe a 10, could do a 9, I'm not sure. Just, you know, something nice little shake down pass, make sure it goes straight and it doesn't do something stupid. So, uh, after that, we'll turn it up and uh, as long as it's feeling good, going straight, turn it up and uh, just try and get the times and get the usual. That is all.